SGC here and we're back for our first impression. House of Cards season one, episode one. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm like four years behind. People raved about the show all the time, but I just never got around to it. And I finally did because I'm like, I'm just gonna get around to it because just can't. If you don't know, House of Cards was created by Bew Willingman. It is an adaptation of the BBC's miniseries of the same name based on the novel by Michael Dobbs, which I think I will check out. It's also Netflix and it's four episodes long and then there's like a, another series behind a different name and all that. House of Cards, four episodes, but definitely going to check that out. And it's a 13 episode for the first season and we have, there's a lot of people and my phone's not showing up the whole like graph where it shows which characters stepped out of which season. But basically it is freaking Kevin Spacey's like biggest thing in recent time and we have Robin Wright who you probably see saw her in Wonder Woman we have Kate Mara Corey Stoll Michael Kelly and a whole crap ton of people and even Constance Zimmer which I worked on the show Unreal that she's the main for so that was crazy stuff but before I get on the review it's like wow just seeing all these people like having using House of Cards as a stepping stone I mean Corey Stoll went on to do The Strain Kate Mara seriously like, if you just focus on movies, you were like, man, she has a crap sort of, like, job history. But being on a House of Cards for the whole season, whoa. And anyway, so characters. I enjoy them. Kevin Spacey's character, Frank Underwood, is holy smokes. Like, the first instance you meet him, he meets that dog, and he talks to you. First episode was filmed by David Finch as well. That was great. And just, you know this character. You, you sort of get into his head as in he's just being fishing, being, like, sad and all that stuff. Like... Like, all the stuff that he talks to you, the breaking the fourth wall, pretty insightful. So, enjoyed all that, and definitely, I, I, I'm i rooting for this guy, but it seems like he's, like, manipulative, and it just... It's interesting, because we're seeing it from his perspective, and we seem to be empathetic about his cause. That he didn't get the job that he was supposed to get, and people are screwing him over, and he's going to screw you over to get what he wants. A lot of mind games, interesting. Kate Mara's trying to get in, in terms of just having the angle... Being a journalist and all, Corey Stahl is... I don't even know their positions because I was, wasn't was fully 100% paying attention to like names, but rather just seeing faces and their interactions. But he had a DUI and Underwood wiped that away and now he has him in his palm and he has a new underling. So overall, I dug the aesthetics, the atmosphere, and just like having five seasons to look forward to, I am like so happy. I can just fly through it all and just really just watch it all. I mean, I'm going to continue the first season right after I'm done filming this because it's just been great. And yeah, I think it's just the aesthetics that I really dig and just how they're going to pull things off and what to look forward to. I mean, I know a lot of things are going to go down. I heard of things, not details, but it's just like, oh my goodness, House of Cards is really intense. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Well, people have seen the first episode. Got to catch up later. Not now, but definitely looking forward to the rest of the season just to see what he's going to pull off. What is he going to do? And where is he going to end up? And it's like excited, exciting, exciting, exciting. So everything thing was done well. I mean, shot well, acted well. I don't know what else is there to say because you know it's good. And that's it for this first impression. What did I say? Seriously, what did I say? House of Cards, great episode. First episode, interactions, chemistry, cast, four link characters, how it's filmed, how it's written, narrative. Wow, what else is there to say? I don't know, be constructive. It's a very political. So if you don't dig politicalness of things, then it might not be for you, but you know, you should get it in because seriously, this is what's happening in the States. But anyway, I'm done here. And that's it for this first impression of House of Cards season one, episode one. Out. Oh.